have you ever thought what if an attack on titan manga existed but instead of titans you would have giant godzilla type monsters well that's basically kaiju number eight and i think it's one of the most gruesome and raw manga out right now oh yeah and there's a new anime coming out early next year for it first off the story it revolves around this guy named kafka hibino who is a 32 year old whose job is basically him cleaning up these godzilla monsters after they are killed by the defense corps Hold up, does this remind me of something? Right, so this guy really wants to become part of the defense corps, but he doesn't have the ability to do so, unfortunately. So what does he do? Nothing. He gets absolutely wrecked. But luckily, out of nowhere, a small monster like Godzilla jumps into his mouth, giving him the ability of transforming into one of these kaijus. And that's about everything that I could tell you now without spoiling you. The manga is written by Matsumoto Naoya, who surprisingly hasn't had the same type of success throughout his whole career. His first manga being cancelled after only 13 chapters and his second one after 43 is not really a good look but despite that starting from 2020 he managed to beat multiple manga in sales with kaiju number no. eight and i mean rightfully so i mean this manga is absolutely crazy it's action-packed full of twists turns and while the art style is not very amazing it does have some hype moments and fight sequences that kind of remind me of demon slayer one thing i like in specific is how the kaiju or the monsters are drawn each are unique in their own way and some could look Look really really crazy like just look at this dude what is even up with his face but is this manga perfect definitely not i mean it has some questionable comedic moments and it can feel pretty generic for a shonen at times but this is totally subjective so if you're fine with that you might actually enjoy this a lot more now regarding the anime we do have some trailers and key visuals to look at as the first look and it looks pretty good i expect it to maintain an above average standard i would say and maybe some really amazing sequences here and there as this is just the first season at the end of the Day. I mean they're still handling stuff like the character designs and how they move and everything but even as I say that I'm reminded that the staff hasn't been announced yet at least not at the time of this recording but I'm hopeful production IG can pull something off because recently there have been some questionable releases not gonna lie now for the voice acting cast or the VA cast only three members have been revealed and for the protagonist we have Masaya Fukunishi who also played Draken in Tokyo Avengers now this girl is played by Seto Asami which is a great actress she plays nobara sakurajima from bunny girl and many more now for the last va i don't even know who this guy is i mean i got no info on him so let him just vibe for a sec now if you've watched the trailers or if you read the manga sure you can see that it takes clear inspiration from other manga like attack on titan demon slayer or even jutsu kaisen but it somehow still remains fresh and offers you a pretty cool story with unconventional characters i mean although it's a shonen the main character is legit in his 30s and he's having a midlife crisis so I think that's pretty unique. All in all, I think this manga and anime is a bit under the radar, not many people seem to know of it, and even though the manga used to trend back in the day on Twitter heavy, I still don't see many people talking about it nowadays. But yeah, check it out if you're interested. If you want my personal take, I would honestly just wait for the anime, and if you like it, why not just continue with the manga? Now this was it for today, subscribe, like, comment, or whatever, yeah, I'm out.